So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, to find the magnitude, one of the easiest things I would recommend is just go ahead and writing this in component form. Once you kind of get used to linear combination, you're not going to write it in component form. But if you're, that's one of the things you're getting stuck on, just write it in component form. So we know the magnitude of a vector v is equal to the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. That's kind of like your component here, where we could say here's v1 and here's v2. So basically, all we're doing is squaring our first component and then adding it to the squared of the second component. And that's actually 25 plus 144, square root of 169, which is equal to 13. Right? Then the next thing is to find the direction. So now the direction tangent of theta equals v2 over v1. So theta equals tan inverse of v2 over v1. Theta equals tan inverse of negative 12 over negative 5. So I do uh, tan inverse of 12 divided by 5. Theta equals 67.38 degrees. However, there's something wrong with that. Well, think about this. My vector is negative 5, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks, goes somewhere down here. But they're telling me this angle is 67.38 degrees. You guys see that's a problem? That's not the correct angle. No. This is how far you go left or left or right. So you're going. Shh. Yes. Go ahead. Continue. No, I is going left and right. No, I is going left and right. J is going up and down. Yes? Huh? No. Negative 5 means you're going to the left. Negative 5 means you're going down. But the problem is, excuse me, I want you guys to look at this. There's an issue with this. We know this vector, negative 5, 12, is down here, right? You guys can agree with me. It's down there. Negative 5, negative and negative. But our angle is giving us this. Now, why is that? If you guys remember, when we did inverse tangent, inverse tangent is restricted within the first and the second quadrants. So what you guys need to understand is this 67 degrees is really the same as that 67 degrees. Those are reference angles of one another. So then how do I find what that actual angle is? What do I need to add to 67.38? 180. So theta is going to equal plus 180 degrees. I'm just going to round to the nearest degree. It's going to be 247 degrees. That is going to be my angle. 